Hey Cupcakes and welcome back to Skyrim. We are doing, what are we doing? We're doing this quest here called the Leader of Ember Shard. We have to kill that guy. Um, we're doing this in order to unlock the Hearth Fire expansion pack. You have to become like Thane or do a quest or something in order to unlock that. And I want to do that so I can up my smithing skill. Uh, it seems so convoluted, but here we are. Our smithing skill is currently level 50. If we can get the Hearth Fire expansion pack, we have to smith a lot of our own stuff, which will increase our smithing and we want to get that to level 60. It'll just make things a little bit easier. So let's head to, where do we have to go for this? We have to go to Ember Shard Mine. Oh, what a surprise. So I'm just going to meet you guys there. It shouldn't take too long. I don't think there's much in between here and there, but uh, yeah, I'll just meet you there. Oh, we've got Thalmor. I think this is the first time we've gotten attacked by Thalmor since the, oh gosh since uh, we went through the whole main quest. There we go. Uh, did we get him? Did you get him? Did you? Why am I still getting shocked? Hey, hey, can you just like knock it off? Hey, stop it. Don't attack Lucian like that. Hey, no, I'm right here. Leave Lucian alone and, and die, 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 die. Yeah, so this is a random thing that can happen. Occasionally the Thalmor will come after you. Um, I bet if we read that, it's going to tell us that we are bad, 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 and we need to die. Let's double check, though. The execution order says be on the lookout for the Breton called Cap. She is the enemy to the Thalmor, and she has actively disrupted our activities and caused great harm. It is spotted you to destroy her with extreme hatred. Be advised, she is extremely dangerous and quite able to defend herself. If caught by local authorities, we are unable to offer you any assistance. All right, well, dead, 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 dead. You guys failed miserably. Um, they do have all of the light elven stuff, so you could potentially take that and sell that if you were you know, interested in doing that. Where did the other one go? Uh, I don't think they generally carry too much of anything else. So I don't see the other one anywhere. I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for them. But that's pretty much all that is. Let's... I am... I think I'm like partway there. So I'll, I'll be there in a minute. Alright guys, welcome to Ember Shard Mine. We're right about there. It's actually below us. Um... But there is, uh, what is that place called? The first place, the first dungeon that you go to, uh, Bleak Falls Barrows actually across the way. From what I understand, there's actually a thing you can do if you go back through after you have completed it before. I've never done that. I'm kind of considered actually trying that out and seeing what happens. I just haven't done it. And we are here, so let's head on into the mine. Oh God, there's a bandit standing there. What are you doing? That was the most anticlimactic attack I've ever done in my life. I that just I just killed him right off the bat. Anyway, let's go in. All right. Well, let's find out what we've got here. Looks like nothing of interest, honestly. I know. Did I just pat? Did I just? I did. Did you just die on the rock? Oh my gosh. Well, we no longer have our friend. Going over. No, oh, I just figured we'd bring somebody. Oh, he's just. Oh my gosh. Okay, apparently we're just gonna completely wipe these guys out in one hit. I wasn't expecting that, actually. He one shot this guy. That's what happened, that's why I wasn't able to do anything. And uh, I think we have to go the long way around here. And then, um, that was fun, that was fun. I one-shot the other guy. One-shotted, one-shotted doesn't sound right. One-shot does. Hello? Is this a mine? Oh, here we go. I'm not seeing a lot of things to mine. It might be a already emptied mine. What just happened? Man, you did not need to do that. We have no need for these guys. 
we uh were a bit overpowered for this area. Oh hey. I need to get around the corner here. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> oh wow, we are super overpowered. Goodness. Looks like we got some sacks. <laughs> they have potatoes in them. We have this chest though. Uh, banded iron shield of blocking. I'm gonna take that because I want the what's on it. Uh, ring of archery. We'll probably give that to our friend who is somewhere here. We've got uh, clairvoyance. Nice. We got some monies, which is perfect. Anything in here? Bucket to pee in, I guess. That's nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of mining points. I'm guessing this mine is like already cleared out. So that kind of sucks. Um Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sad. They just put they just gave us bandits. That's all that was in here is just bandits. I've never been so disappointed in a final boss. That was really sad. Um, okay, so let's see, that leads down. That leads up. We should probably just finish exploring this place. Is there anything over here of interest? Not really seeing anything. This is kind of a little cool waterfall, but nothing. Outlaw. Where? Oh, he's shooting at Fendel. Yeah, you're, you're not really a concern, dude. Even you're not really that big of a concern. You're a little bit more concerning than the other guys because they can't one-shot you, but... No. Nah. Uh, glass arrow, gold, lockpick. Nothing else of interest there. What's over here? It's like all sorts of uh, things. Um, we've got... Ooh! Ruby garment... Gar garment? Garnet? Amethyst. A bunch of gold. A chest. Gold. Ooh, I don't really care about the stamina potion. What's up, Fendel? What do we got over here? Food. Lots of blood for some reason. Uh, nothing else of interest. There's a chest down there. Is that where this leads to? Yes, it does. Look at that. So there is a coin purse which had a whole 30 gold in it and a novice lock chest with not a lot in it honestly i feel like this is a low level dungeon like i don't know i i thought the dungeon scaled with you but um i'm not really feeling like i'm getting a lot of like threats here or anything just kind of mopping this place up like there is no tomorrow all right, let's avoid those. Oh, and this apparently leads us out. So let's head back to Falkreath. Huh, uh, just found a chest. Um, I'm gonna unlock it. We are, where are we at? Well, let's grab the flawless amethyst. Ooh, all sorts of healing potions. Uh, we are right about here, which is just north of Falkreath around this mountain here. And I was heading up this little mountain path I have no idea where my buddy is. Um, and yeah, I just found this really cool thing here. Uh, we are right above something I don't have on the map. <laughs> Let's go get it on the map then. I'm sure we're gonna get attacked, but I uh, just kind of want to show that off because it seems kind of like a little hidden secret chest, chest secret. Oh, hey, there is a potion in here. There it is. Can I get this on the... There it is. Uh, right above North she Shriek Wind Bastion. Holy crap, that is a mouthful. Uh, I'm not going to stick around here too much, though. We're just going to continue on to Falkreath. We're pretty close. So, I'll, I'll like, again, I'll just meet you there. Yeah, well, welcome back to... Uh, welcome back to Falkreath. Also, welcome back to Skyrim. Here is the Yarl. We're going to wake him up. Uh, I did it. Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. 
I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. All right. Uh, anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. Sure. On your way then. All right. So, um, basically, we have to assist some people here in Falkreath. I j freaking just. Ah, Fendel, get out of my way. Are you kidding me right now? Can you move in further? Oh, thank you. All right, so the steward, um, who I actually don't think is in here. Hey, can I take your stuff? Oh, wait. There actually is some things I can take, which, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, if it doesn't say steal, you can generally take those types of things without really uh, causing any issues. So that's nice. Okay. Um, the steward, I like I said, I don't think the steward is here right this second. Are you in here? No, that's, that's not the steward. The steward, I believe, is the woman. So let me just, uh, stand here and look stupid for, oh, a few hours. Ah, okay. So here is the steward. Uh, I would like to purchase a house. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Uh, I'll take it for 5,000 gold. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your stand. All right. So, um follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. All right. So, with all of that, let us Actually, let me undo this one and let's go out. So pretty much told you exactly where you need to go, but your property is just outside of Pine Watch. It is called Lakeview Manor. It's probably one of my favorite ones actually for, um, the different hearthfire houses not exactly the best one in terms of some things did i just get stuck oh there we go uh because there's some interesting things about it but i do particularly like this one so let's just head out as they said and if you follow the roads it's probably one of the easiest ways to actually get there i don't think you can find it actually i'm not sure if you can find it prior to actually buying it or not i'm not sure anyway i will meet you there in a moment and here we are yep there it is this is our house this is lakeview manor we are just uh slightly north of pine watch and uh there's not much to say about this if you've ever if you've seen one, you've seen them all. There is some stone here because you need some stone. I think there's some clay over here as well. And there is, in fact, I think the nearest mill is Half Moon Mill. But um, I'm not going to do this today, but I just kind of want to point out that this is done. I don't think... Oh, there's some clay, crundum, iron, and quarried stone in here. And um, basically it kind of tells you exactly what you need so we're gonna make the small house layout today you get that done and then you can actually use the drafting house or drafting table to start building the house and it tells you what you need so 10 quarried stone uh logs and nails that sort of thing it's really really useful um for building up your smithing skill, which is primarily why I wanted to do this. And uh, I get to show this off as well, which it takes a little bit of money, but it also takes a lot of time as well to do. And there's some really nice perks to this. It's gonna be a little bit of a different playlist and uh, different series, honestly, but I just wanted to get this started so we could in fact get some of that uh, smithing stuff down. Yeah, the wire, this wire doesn't actually exist. So, um, and I think this is the place if we go down, down south here, west, 
look over the mountain edge here. Yeah, so necromon uh, necromancers tend to spawn right there, which is my least favorite part of this area. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're just a- what? You're just a conjurer. Usually it's necromancers. Um, they're nothing in fancy, but there is a book here and they do respawn. So if you ever need, I don't know, what do you get from these guys? It's useful, like nothing and it's creepy and I wish you could get rid of it, but you can't. So you're just kind of sucking it up and dealing with it. And yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. But that's going to be it for today. Just wanted to go ahead and unlock that. We have plenty of other miscellaneous quests that we're going to be taking care of. But um, at this point, I just kind of wanted to, you know, show off what we had been, you know, what we could get here. And I will see you guys next time when we start another new quest. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I'll see you then.